And about four years ago, he got even better. He got happier. And he started to glow. He met Lorena. And she changed him forever. He loved her to death and was so looking forward to spending the rest of his life with her. Clinton walked into the studio for his sports segment on a Friday. And straight away, I just thought, oh my God, who's that? And I just instantly, you know, the cliche love at first sight, I suppose. Um, although he can't remember it. <laughs> he can't remember that day. He insists that we met some other day later down the track. He said he tried to talk to me in the hallway and I brushed him off, which is so not true. And he had always wanted to call sport like this, is that right? Oh, yes. Ever since he was about six and he's pretending to be, say, Richie Benno calling the cricket and... Um, and he was pretending to be Harry Bicell and he had the right sound and then going, what, a, what do you think, Tommy, which was Tommy Layers? And he said, that's all he wanted to do. He, not many people can follow their dream and actually do it. And he said, Mum, I would do it all for free. Clinton was the, was the young professional who in many ways drove lots of our shows and uh, set the standards and a magnificent work ethic and uh, I, I, I would have lost count of the number of times I've said to so many people that uh, he will be the voice of football for the next 20, 25 years. Not too many people in the media earn the respect of the players and uh, I'll tell you what, he earned my respect. Yeah, to, uh, to Clinton and his family, um, he's going to miss their always. He was proved to face a footy since I've been going up, since Fox footy started. And whenever he went in there, he made everyone feel so comfortable. He was, uh, he was a ripping bloke and he's going to be dearly missed. It's hard to, uh, to get respect in the football world, but uh, that's something Clinton certainly got. Um, one of my favourite callers, he loved the game, he was so passionate and it's, uh, it's going to be a very sad loss. Look, I think that... Uh, Sport won't be uh, as much fun because one of the great things about Clinton was that he could elevate a sporting contest. Uh, as, as good as it was, it was better because of the way he was able to describe it. The thing that really struck me was his relationship with um, the people not only that he was working alongside of, but the people in the back room. The respect that he had for the people that were producing him and vice versa was something that I really got a big kick out of. He had a boyish charm about him, he had a, almost an innocent look about him, even though he knew every nut and bolt about every sport you could possibly throw at him. So many clichés are said about people, you know, particularly people who die tragically young as Clinton has. I don't think it is a cliché to say that he's irreplaceable. He's just, he was just a fantastic person to work with and I just knew that there was something up because Clinton's never, never, ever not been at his desk at least two hours before he was a complete professional. He wasn't done. It's just a, it's a tragic loss because he, he had so much um, going for him. He was just a brilliant broadcaster. He had all his future ahead of him. He had a wonderful girlfriend, a fantastic family. And just we just asked the question, why? 